stepping through off the window, good. Stepping through the raindrops and the finish on the right hand. And then it's going to pull his way to win back to back threes. The Bombers a double of the odd chance. These two teams meet for the second time in less than 10 days, with the UC Capitals having the recent advantage, recording their drought-breaking win at the National Convention Centre against the Spirit last round. Bendigo, meanwhile, have experienced some mid-season blues of late and will want to keep pace with the top two. Welcome to Red Energy Arena for the Bendigo Spirit and the UC Capitals as round 11 continues of the Signet. WNBL. Liam Ellison here alongside me is Australian basketball legend and WNBL championship winning coach Carrie Graff. Carrie, welcome for a big night of hoops. It is going to be another big night of hoops. We had a huge one last night. You know, similar to this in that, you know, an underdog team versus one of the top teams. It'd be great if we have another, another clash like that and another clash like the last time these two teams met. Absolutely. What a result it was for the Capitals, prevailing 92 to 85. Meanwhile, though, both sides were without some key players in that one. Yeah, they were. Look, the, you know, the UC Capitals were totally undermanned. No Alex Button, no Brit Smart, no Schwagmeyer, no Emily Harmon, Harmon Whittle. On the other hand, Kelsey Griffin played the first quarter, then got her, got injured. But the, you know, for the UC Capitals to get their first win, they celebrated like it was a championship win. Ray Burrell went off for them. Both teams scored pretty highly, but it was the the difference maker really was the Capitals actually find the bottom bottom of the net. They found a way to score. They shot the ball at 54%. You see Jane Melbourne last contest launch from the car park. You know, they had four players in double digits. Three players in this game had double doubles. Huge game. You know, Mailey, they had their hands full with Mailey. She was a, you know, she had 30, but Look at this team, first win of the season, and like I said, celebrated like it was a, a WNBL championship. They've been building towards it for a number of weeks now. It was a 29-point final quarter for the UC Capitals, which saw them secure the win. Big, big moment for them. Of course, then they travelled down to Terralgan, where they fell to the Boomers. So we see now the ladder on your screens. Capitals with their first win in eight. Bendigo, though, Townsville and Perth are hot on their tail. Yeah, absolutely. This is a big one for them. You know, it's one that they would have put down early in the season that, you know, it's a should win. You know, they're always dangerous games, you know, and they've had a tough schedule. The Bendigo Spirit of, you know, post-Christmas have played. They've been on the road for four games. They lost the double again in, in Melbourne against Melbourne and Southside, then got upset by Canberra on the road, bounced back and got Adelaide. But this is a big one for them to stay in touch with that, that top two, um, you know, and their schedule doesn't get it any easier for the next few games. They were the final team to lose their first game, if you like, but as we spoke about off the top two and three in the last five. The form has been indifferent, so some things to work on there. From the Capitals' perspective, though, again today, they will be undermanned. So we have a look at their lineup in just a second. No Bunsen, no Schwagmeyer Belgia. What, what else is there there, Gary? Yeah, look, t you know, tough for them. I mean, it means they're totally, totally undersized. Um, you know, they're not, no Brit Smart as well. So they're going to they're gonna start and play small ball, clearly. They'll, they'll start with a smaller lineup, and Pizzi will be essentially their only big. And... Young uh, Chloe Tuliak, as we, it will come off the bench. You know, she's a she's a development player who now will probably get 20 minutes a game. So you see, pretty light on in terms of numbers on their bench. But their starters are going to have to play big minutes and with some bit minutes off the bench for the for the rest of that group. Jade Melbourne in the one, Swain will come in and as a, as the the two man, Pizzi as the five, Burrell in the three, and Munger will play undersized in the four spot. Small ball lineup indeed. Beck Pizzi fifth in blocks per game in the league, despite averaging just 16 minutes per contest. So. Quite the shot blocker she is. Yeah, she, look, she's she's been impressive at times. You know, she's she's taken a little while to find her feet in the UC Capitals lineup, but she, it's, she's going to have her work cut out. She's got to dominate the boards for the Capitals tonight and do a do a job on the bigs. Alicia Froling's in great form for for the Bendigo Spirit. She's going to have to step it up with Kelsey Griffin out, um, and as is Megan Mackay. They're going to have to do a, a big job in the paint for this Bendigo Spirit team. Kennedy, Kennedy Kariyama's team on your screen right now. Starters for the Spirit. And of course, no Kelsey Griffin this evening. Yeah, massive for them. But you know, she she played again after the took herself out of the contest after the first quarter last uh, uh, ten days ago against the UC Capitals in Canberra. She played 30 minutes in the Adelaide game where they bounced back with a 20 point win. Um, but but clearly that hamstring's not right. And let's hope for KG, the legend that she is, that 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 doesn't hamper the rest of her season. But they're going to be focused on the group they have and make sure. You know, I think for them to back at home, the Benigo crowd will get on their get on their back. And that's probably a little bit of a difference maker. Hit, you know, could the UC Capitals get another upset against the same team in 10 days on their court? You'd say unlikely, but you never say never in this WNBL. Certainly never know, especially with two undermanned teams. Different look for both sides tonight here at Bendigo Red Energy Arena. It's going to be Alicia Froling and Beck Pizzi 
Stepping in at the five spot for the Capitals to contest the tip here as round 11 continues of the Signet WNBL. Referees today, Taylor Flint, Josh Durand and Shannon Jennings. And interestingly here, the Bendigo Spirit have, have matched the UC Capitals and, and gone small ball themselves. You see they've got four guards on the floor. Maley will swing into that four spot for them. Abby Wayrung, Ali Wilson and Kelly Wilson. So they've, they've decided their counter to play against UC Capitals undersized and small ball style is to match it. Abby Wayrung's been somewhat of a Swiss Army knife in that perspective this year. Come off the bench a few times, started some games as well. Having another terrific year in the guard spot. Megan McKay will come off the pine today. So here we go. Thursday night hoops. Bendigo and the Capitals. And Froling tips it in favour of Canberra. They'll have first possession. Jade Melbourne. Fresh off her homecoming last weekend in Tarawan against the Boomers. Call here from the referee. Hard to pick that one up, whether it was an off-the-ball foul, a bump on a cutter, perhaps. Critical for both of these teams. You know, pretty skinny benches tonight with, you know, seven or eight players and then some development plays. So we'll see neither coaches probably go deep into their bench and critical that players have foul discipline. You know, one of the challenges when you've got a depleted roster is can you keep your players on the floor? Can they stay out of foul trouble? Swain drives on Wilson off the window. Won't go. Pizzi's there on the follow. Melbourne. Canberra with a fresh 14. Pizzi provides the pick. Driving baseline, Melbourne. Whips it out, Burrell, enough space to fire. And Wilson the other way for Bendigo. Good execution for the Capitals there. Melbourne off the ball screen, spits it out to the shooter. That's what they need. Harry Graff in the commentary box today. Abby Werung has the basketball for Bendigo. Wilson pulls up just outside the keyway. Melbourne with the rebound. Maley was there. Jade Melbourne happy and, and I'm sure encouraged to push the tempo there. They'll want to try and play up tempo, see if they can get some easy baskets, break down Bendigo's defensive transition early. On the other hand, I think we're more likely to see Bendigo Spirit settle into a half-court contest, generaled by the, the veteran champion Kelly Wilson, as we see her defend Swain. Swain inside, makes the first bucket for the Capitals. She had a ripper. 10 days ago against against Bendigo. 22 points and six boards. Good performance from her, averaging 13 and a half on the season. Throwing hard to the rack. Goes the way of the Capitals. Spoke about Pizzi in that shot blocking. Found a way then just to get a, get a piece of the ball without fouling Throwing. Good defensive stance. Massive, massive job this evening for Beck Pizzi. No real digs behind her on the bench to back her up. And Whittle Harmon out with the knee injury. Melbourne to the hoop. Downhill. Jade Melbourne, when she puts on the gas, she is quick. Found a way to finish. She's got some jets. That's for sure. Here's Wilson. Back out to Maley. Munger fighting around the screen. Maley for two. Well, the reigning WNBL MVP. She's in fine form. Their leading scorer. I've got to say, she is by far the best rebounder in the WNBL. If you're talking about someone that is relentlessly persistent, it is Annalee Maley. She's a rebound beast and a scorer. Melbourne, again, with the aggression, loses the defender. Finds back heel. Werung moves it forward. Wilson assessing cross court. Wilson gets around Burrell. Nice dime. Two shots for Froling. Nearly the continuation opportunity. Bounce pass well placed from Wilson, who's having another good season for the Bendigo Spirit. Yeah, she's been in great form of late. See her get deep in the lane there. Problem for both teams at the moment is can they contain dribble penetration? We're seeing Jane Melbourne at the other end get into the lane deep a couple of times in a row. Ali Wilson then just almost broke the ankles of Ray Burrell and got by her without with ease. Second go is for Alicia Froling. Froling, what a great story that is on her free throw. She she hasn't got any extension in her, in her right wrist after injury, so she went to in the off-season and working with coach Kennedy Kerry M working on her left-hand free throw. Remarkable, isn't it? Made the decision just less than two weeks before the start of the NBL one season as well. Of course, had a terrific season at that level. Ali Wilson 
Backs it out, extra pass. Werong, open, makes it. You talk about ball movement and veterans that know where the ball should be. Kelly Wilson, great decision there. Sp swung the ball, reversed the ball quickly to the wide open way run for the easy open three. See it here. Wilson sucks the defense in. Quick swing pass by Wilson. Way run finishes the job. Timeless Kelly Wilson averaging over six times per game once again this season. Jade Melbourne running point for the Capitals. Two-point ball game early days here at Red Energy Arena. Melbourne finds Pizzy rolling to the hoop. Won't go. Two shots for Pizzy. Lively start for Melbourne. Capitals there, good attack on the ball screen offensively. Found Pizzy rolling down against the switching Bendigo Spirit. They were late with their rotations defensively. Sees Pizzy go to the free throw line. This is on the first. It's her third start of the Signet WNBL season, Beck Pizzy. Splits a pair at the line. Ellie Wilson for Bendigo. Over to Froling. Hand off Wilson. They go under the screen from the free throw line. Just a little strong. Maley there though. With the second chance for Bendigo. At the perimeter. Eight seconds. Got to make her move. Good contest. And the Capitals with a stop. Yeah, Mungo. Defended Maley very well then. Forced it to a left hand. Maley's tough to guard in any contest, but made a shoot overhand. As we see... Swain put the ball on the deck again, can't find it. Munger with the three. Just missing that time. The defense from the Spirit. Wilson into the corner. Down low, foul call. And that's on Pizzy. That'll hurt the UC Capitals. Pizzy's second foul. They can't afford to have her in foul trouble. Big blow just four minutes into this ball game. The only true post player out there today for the UC Capitals with Alex Bunton injured. Emily Harmon whittle out. You see subs made here. Coach Veal isn't going to risk it. She's thrown in the young development player, Chloe Tuliak. Plays for the Canberra Nationals in the in the NBL one. Swain comes over to double. Frolink muscles out of it. We're on deep triple. Just a little off. And last touch, Maley. Huge job for this UC Capitals team. Can they keep Maley off the glass? Can they limit her scoring? Everyone's got the job on her. We'll see them switch a lot defensively with a smaller group. May very well be the smallest lineup we've seen so far this season from any team, Carrie. From both teams in particular, yeah. Melbourne takes Froling off the dribble. Tough look. Nearly went. Indigo defense holding up. I don't think there's anyone on the floor at the moment that's that's taller than five foot eleven. <laughs> it's a pretty small group. Let's see what they can do to combat this ferocious rebounding unit. Maley, hard to the rack. Second chance. Look, oh, she just finds. I mean, she's got talent. She can hit the perimeter shot. She can get on the rim. She's an exceptional rebounder. But she finds junk points by being in the right spot at the right time. And you know, she goes to the glass every time. And you know, she accumulates six to eight points just from hard work. Indigo have. Two of the top three offensive rebounders in the league on this team, Maley clearly being one of them. But the other, Alicia Froling with 2.6 per contest. The real strength of theirs. And Swain misses on the long two. Straight away down low, Froling gets tangled up with Melbourne. Goes the way of the Capitals. See the replay here. Kelly Wilson pushing tempo. Referee deemed that Jade Melbourne had all ball there. Alicia Froling didn't think so. Timeout on the floor. Three-point ball game here halfway through the first quarter. Bendigo in the lead. This timeout brought to you by CTM Sport. If you're considering travelling interstate with your basketball team, consider CTM Sport for a competitive, innovative and customised travel solution that puts your team on top. Visit ctmsport.com.au to learn more. Even scoring spread so far in this ball game. Annalie Maley. Four points, two boards leads away. Carrie Graff, pretty even so far. It is, you know, both teams, you know, even though they only played 10 days ago, feeling each other out a little bit. It hasn't been exceptionally high tempo or grind out half-court offence. It's been a bit of both. Both teams exploring what options are there. 
both teams playing a bit of small ball, that is four guard types or smaller types on with one one post player. Um, as we mentioned, probably one of the smallest lineups, well, absolutely the smallest lineup in the WNBL on the floor for the UC Capitals at the moment with, you know, their tallest player would barely be six foot. Um, that's a pretty, that's a small, that's a small group. When you talk small ball, that's extra small ball. They've had some adversity this season, the Capitals. And this is just another example of it. How can they fight through it once again? See if the coach has come out of the timeout with any sort of change. You see extended defense here by the Bendigo Spirit. Easily broken up by the UC Capitals with the ball in Munger's hands. Munger with the rock. Now it's Kalia. Swain cutting hard. Nice pass. Munger with the space. Converts. Both teams extending their defense then, both with more intensity. Bendigo out in the lanes, pressuring as we see the ball go into Mackay, who's in and scores. Little jump hook. First bucket of the game for Megan Mackay. The last game against the Adelaide Lightning. 17 points in 17 minutes as they bounce back for that victory carry. Yeah, not a bad little ratio. A point a minute. Swain loses Wilson. Not that time. She'll turn and go. Slingshot offense for Bendigo. Maley helps to slow it up. Wilson in the corner. Space to fire. Just a little left. Melbourne assessing our options forward of the ball. Munger and Tugley Ash get tangled up. Here's Swain. So three ball not dropping over the last couple of minutes. Wilson hard of the hoop. Draws contact. Ali Wilson to the line. Both teams with you know guard heavy, you know, playing four smalls, pushing tempo. Seeing they get their feet, get downhill, get in the lane hard. Ali Wilson's done a great job of that, as we see just then for the Bendigo Spirit. Jade Melbourne's done a great job of it at the other end for the UC Caps, as had Swain. Tactic for both teams clearly from their coaches is put the ball on the floor, get themselves in the lane. Can they draw fouls? Can they get to the free throw line? Wilson now at the stripe. But on the first 83% clip on the season. She's in great form, Ali Wilson. Can shoot the deep three as we see her. She can get on the, get downhill and get herself to the rim. Cassidy McLean replaces her for Kennedy Kerryama's team. Five point advantage, they remain up in high defense. Wilson's there. Cherie Kalia. Onwards to Munger. Now on the corner. McKay defending for Bendigo. Three ball goes up for Munga. Big bucket for the Capitals. The Antilliac liked her chances about taking on McKay. Spits it out and gets Munger a wide open three. Three ball for Bendigo. Good movements. Great finish. Wayrung answers. I can do anything you can do, she says. Capitals wasting no time. Kalia. Tuliak finds Burrell. Now Kalia trying to drive on McKay. Seven seconds. Burrell got to go. Wilson's right there. Foul call against Wilson. Foul count critical for both teams. As we mentioned, so far both depleted, been hit quite hard by injury. Reduced numbers on their bench. Burrell to inbound, fresh 14. Melbourne, driving left, picks up her dribble. Gets a shot away on the clean, won't go. Here's Werung. Hand in was well timed. Good defense from the Capitals. Bendigo though, desperation via Maley down low. McKay, count the bucket. She'll go to the line for one more. Maley with a hustle. And Bendigo with a big basket. Big play. Crowd loved that one. To extend the lead to eight points. Eight minutes into this ball game. Just a little strong. Wilson, though. Tap down. Bendigo again. And Canberra clean it up. Burrell moving it forward. 
And the Spirit players back in defense. Munga. Now Kalia puts it on the deck. Picked off by McKay. Momentum here with Bendigo. Trying to find Maley in the painted area. Now Burrell pulls up from the elbow. Rattles out. Looked in. It did rattle out. They needed that one. Bendigo will settle here. He's certainly got a little bit of the momentum here. The crowd can sense it. Maley down low again. McKay with the advantage. Wow, they're working that now. Clearly a tactic. The Bendigo spirit get get McKay deep, get her on the point of the rim and get it into her and see if she can finish close to the rim. That she's done. Melbourne. Now Munger. Needs some space. Has mainly defending her. Kalia. Five seconds. Melbourne gonna gonna go from the three. No good as the shot clock buzzer expires. Big defensive stop required by the UC Capitals here. Down nine a minute to go in this first quarter. Again, that directive inside to McKay. She flicks it out. We're on. Just a little strong. Melbourne running the break. Forced to slow it up. Kalia. Now Munger runs straight into McKay. Baseline J. Really good. Tulia couldn't find that one. We're on running point for Bendigo to make it a double digit lead heading into the first break. Wilson again down low to McKay. Second chance. That time it goes. Well, yeah, McKay, you know, experience just to take Chloe Tuliak, you know, development play for the UT Capitals, seeing minutes here because of the depletion of their team due to injury. Just takes her straight to the point of the rim, uses their size and experience to score at will. Pizzi sitting on the bench with two fouls for the UC Caps. Melbourne got to go, throws it up off the window. No good. So Bendigo will dribble it out. They lead here after 10 minutes of action by 11 points at Red Energy Arena. Megan McKay leads the way, dominating in the painted area. Eight points, four of five shooting for the Spirit. And Carrie, they can see they've got the height advantage today. Yeah, absolutely. I think that was the, the big... We saw it in that last, that last three minutes, the ball going inside. You know, early on in this quarter, we saw the, the guards do a great job from both teams, get deep in the lane. Melbourne for for the Capitals, um, Ali Wilson for the for the Bendigo Spirit. But the last the last part of that that first quarter it was all Megan McKay. You know, the the clear directive from the coach was she's got a mismatch, she's got a young undersized post on her. Take her straight to the point of the rim, and we'll score at will. If we have to spit it out, we've got shooters waiting out there, and that certainly gave Bendigo the momentum down this last three four minutes of that first quarter. Prospect Pizzi. The lone big, if you like, today for the UC Capitals. Two personal fouls had to check out four minutes into the contest. Big blow for them. Yeah, that hurt them, you know. And tough, who, else, who do you throw someone else on? Do you try Munger on? Or someone with a little more experience to, to use their body against a player like Mackay? As we see the, the stats there. Whew, field goal percentage, UC Capitals a little different to when they played this team 10 days ago and got that upset win. You know, they shot 63, 63%, I think, in that, that contest. Three points, you know, Caps just aren't putting the ball in the hole. 20% 20, 20 versus 40. Rebounding contest, that hurts. You can't let that get away from you. Um, points in the paint. They're probably all Megan Mackay's, maybe two for Maley, but that was the difference in that last three minutes of that quarter. Rebounding certainly got away from them in the final five minutes of the quarter after an even start for both teams. Of course, we've seen Chloe Tuliak with her opportunity today, with obviously Pizzi going down with foul trouble. How have you seen her performance early days? Yeah, look, I think she doesn't look totally out of sorts, but when you've got a player like Megan Mackay who knows how to use her body, you know, she's got great breadth, she's got great strength, and she knows how to get straight to the point of the rim. She doesn't barely need to post move, gets her on the point of the rim, seals her on her, on her back and scored at will. So that's a, that's a tough matchup for Tuliak. It'll be interesting to see what happens, what happens here. It looks like... Alicia Froling's back in for the Bendigo Spirits. They won't have to deal with her. Pizzi's back in. She'll get the match up there. So it'll be interesting to see when Mackay checks in how Kristen Veal deals with that. Does she put Tuliat back in? Does she swing a guard back onto her? Or do they look at a different defensive scheme? They'll be hoping to put another personal foul potentially on Pizzi if they can. The Bendigo Spirit. Abby Werung as well leading the way with six points. Both from long range so far in this contest. Back underway. Second quarter. Here in Bendigo for your Thursday night hoops. Great dime. Wilson with the finish. Wow, well executed. Bendigo spirit. Great cut by Ali Wilson. 
Maley applying the pressure on Munger. One of the leading steals per game players in the WNBL. There it is on cue. Maley's away. Has Froling to her left. Down the lane. The floater no good. Froling second chance. And Melbourne. Somehow the Capitals get away with it. Got out of jail on that one. And Shanice Swain hands it to Melbourne. Morell pulls up from the logo. Makes it. First points of the second for the Capitals. They need that. They just haven't put the ball in the hole. Their shooting percentage isn't great today. First points of the contest as well for Ray Burrell. Fresh off Team of the Week honours. As Wilson with the triple. Huge shot. Overhand on the step back. Swain trying to deny Melbourne there is McLean. And off to Pizzi. Here is Ray Burrell driving straight at Froling. Charge. First personal on Burrell. See it again on the replay. Burrell puts her head down. Good position, good call, referee. Great hustle from Alicia Froling. 14 point ball game. Danger for the UC Capitals for this one to you know, turn into a blowout before half time. Can they shift the momentum? We might see a defensive change. They try a little bit of zone. Wurrung backs it out. Wilson has the screen. Nice pass. Froling, rolling to the hoop. They're going to go to that well until that well runs dry. Another assist for Ali Wilson. Call from the referee. Tempo push by Jade Melbourne, then positive sign for the UC Capitals. Can they get themselves some cheap baskets by pushing Tempo? What was working as well early in the contest. Jade Melbourne was pushing the, the action two dimes early on. Most massive event coming up in a couple of weeks. At John Kane Arena, the Flyers and the Flames. Tickets on sale now at Ticketek. Make sure you do not miss it. Melbourne missing on the second. Benigo happy to just run a half court set here. Wilson finds Froling, assessing her options. 12 seconds. Back is he? Same play, mid ball screen, back into Froling. They're just working that, see if they get mismatches. Roll Froling straight down to the point of the rim off that mid ball screen. As we see here, they roll, get, get her body on Munger, get herself deep. Froling with her second trip to the charity stripe so far this evening. Benigo made a great adjustment. They've clearly made a point to get, get the ball to their bigs on the point of the rim, straight down the guts, either on a, a, a roll down from their mid ball screen or from a post dive, sit their man on the ring. It's been fruitful so far. Maley spikes it down. Munger's there with front position. Melbourne. Again pushing the issue on McLean. Pizzi trying to move it through some hands. Burrell, good contest, better finish. You see Capitals need her to light up. She led the way in their only win this season against Bendigo 10 days ago with 24 points. Shooting the ball at 63%. Backed it up as well with a 22-point performance in the next game. Secure that Team of the Week performance. Shanice Swain finds... Pizzi, rolling to the hoop, Burrell, fade away, Jay, a little short. So Capitals offense struggling here at the moment, 25% from the field. 14 point advantage. Froling finds Waring, denied by Swain. Good defense from the youngster. Got to find a way to get some stops here, the UC Capitals. Prevent that ball going into the bigs and to cutters. We're seeing cutters straight on the point of the rim, post diving to the point of the rim. Where aren't with 10 to work with Wilson? Down low. He's Froling and Pizzi. Goes straight at Pizzi. Good defense. Smart play to Froling. Alert that Pizzi's on to. Takes it straight out of Pizzi. As you say, played smart. Kept the hands out of it. Melbourne. Nicely picked off by Abby Werung. Chaotic few moments, diving on it. Burrell's there, as is Maley. Wins the jump ball. 
Great hustle by both teams. Bodies on the floor. Would have seen Burrell potentially with an open lane, but Maley too tough once again. So possession arrow favouring the Capitals. Swain to inbound. Indigo already leading the points in the paint column 14 to 6 in this contest. Yeah, it's been the story of the game, hasn't it, Liam? Inside to the post, inside with penetration. Sure has been. Winning the rebounding column 20 to 11 as well. Swain. Burrell. Breakdown from Bendigo. They won't be happy with that. Cheap basket. Small break that the Capitals needed. Wilson lives on Swain. McKay hanging around for the pick. Now Weron smothering Capitals defense. Wilson wide open, cross court. Ali Wilson, three seconds, puts it up and in. Wow, again, Kelly Wilson, great fetish. He fakes the ball into the, the roll down on Megan McKay, who sat on the rim, sucked in the defense, and then kicked it. Cross court for a wide open three. We can go inside, we can go outside, say the Bendigo spirit. Burrell loses Ali Wilson and drains it. Big time move from Ray Burrell. That signature hurt, a couple of hesitations, a little lean off jumper. Up to six points now in the quarter and in the game. Hovering around at 12 points the margin. Capitals with some life over the last few minutes. Swain with the steal, has numbers, Burrell Straight in for an easy two. Timeout on the floor. Capitals aren't going away. They're not. Momentum timeout here by coach Kennedy Kerryama. As we see the steal, Swain gets her hands in. Uses it quicks, creates a break. Easy one for Burrell. They needed that. They need those easy buckets, but they've chipped this thing back. Back to a 10 point ball game at the timeout halfway through this second quarter and this timeout is brought to you by our major partners here at the WNBL Signet to stay connected with the latest news social highlights keep your favorite tech charged up at home or on the go with Signet's extensive range of charging products and digital accessories a big thanks to Signet for powering the WNBL with high quality tech this season explore their range at Signet.com Ray Burrell now the first player into double figures in a very short period of time as well Carrie she did. She lit up there with a couple of nice little moves. Got a couple of cheap baskets. One on that base out of bounds that we saw that, you know, break down defensively from Bendigo Spirit. Then that nice steal from Swain to, you know, it doesn't take long to rack up points. Um, you know, Burrell can do it. We know Maley can do it. But let's see what will come out of this timeout. Is there a change of defense for one look? What do, what's the focus become again for the Bendigo Spirit? I'm sure it's that inside, that interior look. Can we get penetrations, rim rolls? We haven't got that, spit it back out for our open three, but let's see if we can have a, a defensive change up at all from either of these teams. You can see the difference that Beck Pizzi has made as well since re-entering the contest, managing yeah. the two personals. Absolutely, and when you talk about you know the impact of the bigs in the game, we see there Kelsey Griffin on screen out with a hamstring injury. Let's hope for her that's, that doesn't keep her out for too long, but certainly you know, Benigo Spirit team missing her impact tonight. Also missing... Tessa Levy, who remains out with that calf soreness. Wilson off the dribble. Has nine so far in the ball game. McKay, extra possession spirit. McLean, down low again to Megan McKay. Munger's there. Count the bucket. Another trip to the three throw line for Megan McKay. Same action here. She just she just dive cuts. She either, she's either rolling rolling down to the point of the rim off a mid ball screen, or she's this dive cutting from that opposite elbow, puts her body on the opposition defender's body and just works her way, finds finds herself a cheap basket or a couple of free throws. Too strong. Maley's there on the O glass, over the top of Munger. Friendly roll. Ouch, that hurts, but she's hard to block out. You can have it on your scout report. You can practice it. You can talk about it, but. She's exceptional on the glass is Annalie Maley. Burrell into the corner, Munger with the three. Just a little off, long rebound falls to Bendigo. 14 point ball game, Maley. Wilson opts to slow it up. Will they target the keyway once again? 
Yep, here it is. The rim roll off the mid ball screen, sealing a smaller player. Mainly for three, good defense, Melbourne. But McKay is there. Up to 12 points now, leading scorer in the game. Yeah, it's a tough position. Munger then went to front, that then put it out of position to block out and gave McKay the easy put back too. They got their hands full, hands full of UC Capitals trying to negotiate this. Wilson goes again. Defense from the Capitals is true. Substitutions for Kristen Veal's team. Janice Swain with the previous bucket. She's up to four in the ball game. So Bendigo again applying some pressure at full court. Melbourne. We're backcourt mate and Swain driving on Wilson. Maley gets a hand in and finds the foot of McLean. Easy stop for Bendigo. Turnovers aren't helping the UC Capitals this point in time. We see Mackay on the point of the rip again. Moving it quickly, Wilson. Thought about whipping it to the top. Turns, gets it off the window. Tough finish. Ali Wilson. Shooting percentages are the difference here. Bendigo finding the bottom of the basket. Often you see Capitals. It's the other extreme for them. Swain wide open. Can't make it. To illustrate your point, carry. And Bendigo shooting 50% from the field. Down low. McKay on Pizzy. Another one drops. Wow. Timeout. 18 point ball game. The home bit side Bendigo Spirit. Dominating here over the last few minutes. It was a 10 point ball game just a couple of minutes ago. Doesn't take much to, to push it back out. 18 point the, the margin now. Coach Kristen Veal will clearly be talking about how we're gonna how we're gonna stop Mackay down low. She's on the point of the rim. What is it that we do? How do we stop the ball going in? Is it more ball pressure? Can we get around and front her? But they need an answer to that right now. That's the difference in the ball game. One, they're not making shots at the other end. Two, they can't they haven't got an answer for Megan Mackay on the point of the rim. 10-2 run after that last timeout. Lots to talk about here in this huddle. Pharrell leading the way for Canberra with 10, and the Spirit have two players in double figures. McKay with 14, and Ali Wilson as well with 11, who's putting together a nice ball game herself, Carrie. Yeah, she has. Look, she's been she's been impressive. We know she can hit the perimeter shot. We saw her get her feet in the paint with some downhill drives, and then she has great composure and poise. Just take a little turnaround jump shot. She's got a a nice bag of tricks in that offensive kit of hers, but she's certainly been a bit of an X factor, I think, for them. You know, we know that Kelsey Griffin's a superstar. We know Maley is, is as well. Um, you know, they've got complementary pieces. They've got veteran point guard, um, unbelievable floor general and, and feeder of the ball, Kelly Wilson. But I think, you know, Alex Wilson is their X factor. You know, she, it's, she has a big game. It has a big influence for them. She is an X factor. Offensive rebounding numbers, unsurprisingly, favouring the spirit as well. Eight to two here. X Factor today, Megan Mackay, 14 points, four boards. Melbourne. Hand off to Munger. Now Burrell, step back three on Wilson, just short. That would have been something for the Capitals. Maley awaits the handoff of McLean. McKay with the pick. Kelly Wilson with the ball. Finds Maley. Ops against the open three. Now Wilson will fire. We'll see then the UC Capitals. Their strategy was clearly to, to pack off those feeders if they're at four-point range, which they are. They're spread on the three-point line. Pack off them and make the passing angles harder. Prevent the ball going to McKay. We'll, take the, we'll dare him to take the, the deep three and, and let's shift it up. Smart play by Coach Kristen Veal to change the strategy. We've got to stop something. It's a game of game of chess attack and counter-attack and they do it on the other end here Burrell here's Melbourne now Munger space to fire in the corner not quite one of nine from the three-point line tonight for the UC Capitals so far McKay whips it out here's Wilson Kelly Wilson and off to Maley Capitals defense now we see the full front by Munger on Mackay down low. Ali Wilson launches the three. Blows her own miss. Straight down the keyway. Wilson. It hurts. Make him shoot a perimeter shot overhand. 
Oh, with their own offensive boards, that's a coach killer. He's at 20 points the margin. And 13 for Wilson's individual tally. Munger tries to create space on Maley, backs it out. Jade Melbourne, seven seconds. Finds Kalia, just keeps it inside the lane. Trouble call. Might have been a little unlucky there, Kalia. Looked like it. she snagged her leg on that logo. Mate, sometimes awkward things are called travels. They're not always travels, but we're not down there with the referees, with the whistle, with their eyes on the play. The timeout a minute away from the main break here. 20-point ball game, 43 the Spirit. Lead the Capitals 23 here so far in the second quarter. The lead proceedings 22 to 13 as well. So Bendigo right in control here, Carrie Graff. Yeah, they are. Look, you know, they've just executed well. They've, you know, once they found an answer for an easy score, and that was to rim roll their big Megan McKay down on the rim, rim roll um, Alicia Froling down, seal the smaller opponent, get easy baskets. They went to that over and over again. We saw a slight adjustment out of the last time out from the UC Capitals by packing in off the, the feeders of the, the Benigo Spirit and trying to make the passing angle a little tougher, force a perimeter shot deep over a hand. You know, they did that, forced that shot. Ali Wilson comes up with a no board. So, you know, let's see if the Capitals can, you know, it's now pushed out to 20. It's going to be tough, I think, with a depleted roster away from home. Um, 20 down at halftime, that's a big mountain to climb. But let's see if they can chip this back. Minute and a half, you know, can they get it under 16 going into halftime? A little bit of momentum. See what they can do. Burrell, who had zero points at quarter time, now up to 10. It's been a highlight so far in the second quarter for the visitors. So Bendigo with possession to start things off. Kelly Wilson with four assists already this evening. Kelly Wilson now finds Maley on the wing, a little short. Melbourne's there. So a little 2-3 zone out of that timeout for the UC Capitals. See if they can clog up that middle a little. Munger inside the lane. Drops for Canberra. And again, we'll see him sit back in a 2-3 zone. See if they can do something with that interior play of Megan Mackay. Looking for back-to-back -back stops. Bendigo with possession. Wilson has Mackay in the painted area. Ali Wilson. Five seconds. Got to make her move from the elbow. Maley, who else? Another offensive board. So Canberra now, shot clocks off, 20 seconds. Melbourne pushing it, hesitates, drives hard, turn the, turns the Jets on. Jade Melbourne with some class. Can they get a stop now to go into halftime? 16 down rather than 20 plus down. Final shot for the Spirit. They lead by 16. McKay's there. Canberra with a stop. So nice finish to what's been a tough second quarter for the UC Capitals. The Spirit, 43, lead the Capitals, 27 here, Carry Graff, dominating down low in the paint. Yeah, absolutely. She's been, the, she's been the killer for them. You know, I mean, Ali Wilson's led the way in terms of putting the ball on the floor, finding a variety of ways to, to score. We saw a step back for a three. We saw her put the ball on the, on the deck, but... Their ability to get shots close to the rim, we saw way rung then making cuts to the baskets, but it was it was all about their their post play. Again, inside, you know, Capitals made a few little runs there with you know Burrell lining up a little bit on on some cheapies, but um, you know, the shooting percentages have really hurt when there's been wide open shots for the Capitals are having to make them. But a little bit of magic here by Burrell helped them chip it away and get it back a little bit. But it was it was all this. This was the lady of the moment, Mega Mackay inside deep on the rim every time found and one plays found finishes and then we know the the rebounding machine that is mainly that that finds cheap baskets got eight rebounds three offensive in the ball game Annalie Maley they lead the rebounding contest surprisingly only by three at this stage Bendigo but it has been all their way these two teams tied on the season series at one apiece. It's the final meeting between the two. At the moment, it is the Bendigo Spirit by 16 points. Stick around, second half, not far away. Tonight is yeah, part of the inaugural Pride Round games for the Adelaide Lightning. Not sure if she was trying to dribble or go behind the back there. 
Kibilo. It might pay off because Whittle lays it in for two. Stolen there by Brooke. Ali Wilson regains control and Annalie Maley, beautiful stroke. Another offensive rebound for Maley. That was almost too easy off the offensive glass. So to the Wickham. Atwell now launches. Perth Links went on a great run there and Wickham wants to get a basket back and does. Not quite having the night she had last time against this team, but Wickham is! Oh. Playing for this Perth Links side. So to does Amy Atwell and nails the three! Paige Burrow's going to work. George puts up a long range three and nails it. Kayla G for three. George with the block on Burrell. George feeling it at the other end. Three seconds. Mung is going to have to put up a shot. She gives it off. Almost a half court from Melbourne. It's gone. <laughs> what a shot, Jake Melbourne. Oh, that was just what you call a buzzer beater. Last second fling. All the energies with Canberra at the moment. Swain and one. Get a high percentage shot if possible. Munger loses her feet. Burrell for three. Dagger! <laughs> Massive basket, Ray Burrell. It's one of the upsets of the season as the Caps break through to end their 12-game losing streak. Sports fans, this is your chance to be part of history and celebrate Australia's greatest basketballer of all time. Yes, Larry Jackson, you are the queen of basketball and we love it. LJ's Southside Flyers host the Sydney Flames in the first ever WNBL game at John Kane Arena. Oh, she's feeling it. She's seriously feeling it. You won't want to miss this history-making moment in women's basketball. Be part of a record WNBL crowd. Tickets on sale now at Ticket Tech. Do not underestimate the power of a good blind. Take this exhausted couch. Now it stands before you. Mm, magnifique. Even this cocktail of dead skin is gracefully waltzing. Da, 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 da. DIY blinds change the ugly. Tune in to the WNBL show dropping weekly during the season and released across your favourite podcast network every Tuesday. Or watch the full vodcast at WNBL.basketball. Leg MVP. We I'll never get used to that, by the way. That's a bit strange. <laughs> we can always come to you for a great inspirational quote. Join me, Megan Hustray, and my team of co-hosts, stars across the league, as we talk about everything that's happening on and off the court in the Signet WNBL. The ultimate Grand Slam experience is on Nine Now. Incredible stuff! We've got every match on every court streaming for free. How good is that? Catch the thrilling highlights, follow your favourite players oh. and see the superstars whenever they play. The Australian Open, every match, every court streaming live and free on Nine Now. Gossip Girl here, your one and only source into the scandalous lives of Manhattan's elite. XOXO Gossip Girl. Get your summer streaming on Nine Now. This is our vow to you. What's coming down the aisle? We'll send Australia. I look like the girl next door. Wild. I'm actually a little freak in the sheets. The phenomenon of love is bigger you're a lucky man than ever she's not doing too badly herself new married at first sight monday jan 30 on nine the great champion is a rare phenomenon who is the greatest tennis player of all time djokovic <laughs> or nadal i wonder what the hundred thinks you have australia's support Hi Hoopers, I'm Tess Madgen. I'm so excited to be offering virtual masterclasses this school holidays with She Hoops. Starting on the 9th of January at 5.30pm every Monday night, 
In this five week series, we will be delivering a range of basketball skills. I will also take you through a number of mobility skills designed to keep your body active and engaged. And the best part is that it's free. Go to shehoops.com.au to register now and secure your spot. The ultimate Grand Slam experience is on Nine Now. Incredible stuff! We've got every match on every court streaming for free. How good is that? Catch the thrilling highlights, follow your favourite players and see the superstars whenever they play. The Australian Open, every match, every court, streaming live and free on Nine Now. So baby, in 90 days we're going to be husband and wife. I was with her for five days and then I proposed to her. She's so eager to be in love, she lets red flags just go. People say, 19-year-old, she's just using you. Maybe she could be. 90 Day Fiancé. Get your summer streaming on 9 now. It's the biggest WNBL season yet, and superstar Lauren Jackson returns. Turn it up. Don't miss a block. Basket. Or game winner. Just not steal the win. WNBL, live on 9 now. Go back at home. They've they've come off, you know, three three disappointing losses. You know, two against the top two teams. They're always going to be tough, but a disappointing loss to this Capitals team ten days ago. Yeah, we knew they were going to come out firing, coming out focused. Both teams teams depleted, but as you, I mean, the stats tell a story right there. Sometimes they don't, but they certainly do tonight. The rebound count is a killer for the UT Capitals. Points in the paint. Half of those 28 points are Megan McKay's, and they're all from the same spot, right on the point of the rim. She's seven of eight from the field. Five rebounds as well, four of which have been offensive. Maybe the player of the game so far. Yeah, look, I'd, you'd, ha you'd have to say so, I think. you know, And, and credit to the Benigo Spirit team. They know, you know, like any teams, if something's working, you go to it over and over. We see it. She's such a great user of body. In pick and roll, she just rolls down right on top of that defender, gets her body, gets herself as close to the rim as she can. Then if she, she doesn't have to make a whole lot of moves, and if she misses it, she's right there to rebound it. The way she uses her body, she's got great breadth, she's robust. You see her then just sealing, using her body, hips on hips against the small among her, finding two foot finishes, like say, an unbelievable clip. 80, 70, 70 plus percent from getting close to the rim, using her body. Exceptional game from Megan Mackay today. Undoubtedly, we'll see them go to her more in this second half. You would suspect Beck Pizzi had two personal fouls early in the ball game. Since then, she's managed that pretty well, and when she's been on the floor, has affected the ball game. 
Yeah, that she has. And she's you tend to match up on Alicia Froling a little more often. But it would it'd be interesting to see, can she get that match up? Can she slow it down in terms of Megan Mackay's finish? Can the UC, Will we see the UC Capitals adjust? Do they go, as we saw them a couple of times out of that timeout, do they drop into a zone and dare some, to prim, some perimeter shooting? Danger with Bendigo is they're such good offensive rebounders. You're already getting smashed on the foul count. Do you, you know, do you pack off the pack off the passes and clog it into Mackay? And it's it's tough. Where she rolls to, you can't double team her. She's not on the low post. So getting to the point of the rim, it, it's really hard to double team. So it'll be interesting to see what, what counter-attack of the UC Capitals got here. Attacking straight down the middle of the keyway has been fruitful for this spirit team. Let's see what they can do here with first possession to start the second half. Werang in the corner. Ouch. First points come via the three-point line for the Spirit. Extending the lead to 19. And the less than ideal start for the UC Capitals. Burrell, who had 10 points in that second quarter, finds Munger. Pizzi off the dribble, driving hard on Froling. And draws a foul. So Pizzi will go to the line. First personal today on Froling. You see Capital still came out with intensity, people putting the ball hard on the floor. Clearly that's been the intent out of halftime, put the ball on the floor. Can we get to the rim, draw some fouls, get ourselves some free throws? Busy missing on the first. She was one of two from the line in the first half. Yeah, those two early fouls hurt. She had to sit down, get cold sometimes. First points of the quarter for the Capitals. Kelly Wilson with five dimes in the first half. Retrieves it back from Froling. Morell slows her up. Down low, Pizzi's there with a steal. Now Nicole Munger. Melbourne finds the pick. Nice pass, Pizzi rolling to the hoop. Maley comes across to help. Hand in from Maley. Stays Capitals ball. She's all over the place, Annalie Maley. She gets on possession. She comes up with steals. It's all from the intensity plays that she plays at. She's relentless persistence personified is Annalie Maley. She's in everything. Burrell, pump fakes, drives on Wilson, missing. Maley's there on the defensive glass. You know, when you're down by big margins, you've got to make those easy baskets. It's tough to stay in the contest if you don't. Froling fighting through the trees. Not pretty, but efficient was that one. She'll take it, take it any way you can get it. Second field goal of the game for Alicia Froling. She's got six. Swain off the dribble. She's doubled, backs it out. Pizzi for three. Just off. Capitals today, one of ten from beyond the arc. Maley in the keyway, rattles home. A little leaner. Leans off it, finds a way to rattle it in. Swain. Into the front court. Top five in steals per game in the Signet WNBL. Shanice Swain with 1.8. Burrell driving hard down the lane off the window. They need that. They need someone to step up and score offensively, the UC Capitals. But critically, can they get some stops at this end before the floodgate, flood, floodgates open for the Bendigo Spirit at home? High pace opening to this second half. Maley will slow it up. Froling's hovering. Wilson, got to go. Deep triple, throws it up, nearly falls. Burrell, fouled on the rebounding contest. A little breathing room for the UC Capitals. Pick up a cheap foul on Emily Maley. It's only a first. Eight points, nine rebounds, Emily Maley. Extended pressure by the Bendigo Spirit here. Making it tough for Jade Melbourne to catch the ball. Face guarding her in front, playing behind her. Making it hard for the feeder to get to the ball. Deep three attempt there. And the defense rewarded as well. And come up with the basketball, forcing the error from the Capitals. So Bendigo with the ball on the baseline. Wilson into a point guard. In the corner now, Froling's there with a the screen. Wasn't expecting the pass. Melbourne dives in, retrieves it for the Capitals. No look pass, nearly found Pizzi. Picked off though by Ali Wilson. Bendigo with the numbers momentarily. Maley tight to the baseline, makes it. Big finish on the break. Well executed by the Bendigo Spirit. 
hard tempo push by Wilson here. Had options both sides. Mailey just puts herself on the rim. Jade Melbourne fouls her. She finishes. There's a highlight play for the Spirit, turning defense into offense, running in numbers. Absolutely. See if Annalie Mailey can complete it with the three point play. It does just that. So she's into double figures. Annalie Mailey closing in on yet another double double ahead to Swain. Spirit back in defense. Nice cross. Hey, what a move. She spins, she turns, she finds a way. The youngster starring once again. The star of the future, star of the now for the UC Capitals, of course. One of the young players named in the Opal squad recently, Carrie Graff. Yeah, massive for Shanice Swain. You know, speaks to her potential and the season she's had. You know, she, she wasn't anticipated to be a starter. An import goes home. They've had injury woes and... She's done a hell of a job as a young player to step into the starting lineup at times and really have an impact. Find ways to score, get herself on the rim, utilize her athleticism. Also, just there, finds Munger in the corner who converts on the bucket. She has been great. Janice Swain, 13 and a half points per game, two assists this season for the Capitals. Here she is with a steal. Has Kelly Wilson ahead of her, hesitates. Nearly falls, so two shots for Swain coming up. Three-point play there would have been nice. Give them a little bit of momentum, a little bit of juice in this third quarter. Can they chip away at this 20-plus margin? Chance to bring her personal tally to eight. Trail by 21. But a lively opening four minutes to this second half in the Capitals. Yeah, it certainly hasn't been lacking intensity. They've pushed tempo. They've tried to speed it up a little bit offensively. Linking on the first, they've got seven steals as a team, the Capitals. And you go with eight. Of course, had 22 points in that win against the Bendigo Spirit last round did Shanice Swain. Ellie Wilson. Start the offense for Bendigo, McKay. See some zone action from the UC Capitals here. And Werung for three. Fifth triple of the ball game for the Spirit. Five of 12 from long range. Selective with their shots from down low. Ambitious attempt to Burrell. Wilson saw better of it. Werung moves it forward. Wilson, nice dime. Ali Wilson with the finish. And yet another continuation opportunity for the Bendigo Spirit. Bendigo are loving that, as are their crowd. Great tempo push. Great feed from the veteran Kelly Wilson. Perfectly placed. Wilson to Wilson. Straight into her pocket. No relation. And that will be a timeout on the floor. Spirit leading by 24 points here. This timeout brought to you by DIY Blinds. To fit out your home with Australian made designer quality window furnishings at the best prices, head to diyblinds.com.au to order your free samples today. For the Capitals, although they've been pretty good so far in this third quarter, Bendigo have still managed to extend that lead by a further four points carry. Yeah, it's the, just some of those errant passes, you know, recognizing there was a back that there was an open back cutter, but the pass not executing a couple of times in this last stanza the Benigo spirit of you know shaking the ball loose, forced forced a turnover, created a fast break, and that keeps you know, nudging this lead out. Good time out here, halt momentum, try and take the crowd out of it, but you know it might just be a amount a little too big to climb here. 24 down, five minutes to go in the third. They've got eight players only on the roster at the moment due to injury. They've been decimated by by injury. Um, Abby Solway hasn't yet seen the court, so they're playing this game with seven. Seven players, essentially. It's going to be a tough one. You feel the confidence growing for the Bendigo Spirit. They wanted to make a statement in this game. There's no question. They, you know, huge upset win, upset by this team 10 days ago. There was no way they were going to let that happen today. That's certainly what they're saying at the moment. Trying to get their season back on track, if you like, for a team that sits third on the table, obviously, in Bendigo. But leaders for so long. Mailey, another offensive opportunity. And she'll head back to the charity stripe. Yeah, and they want to solidify a top four spot. You know, keep chipping away at a, at a one or two position on the ladder. And, you know, they had a mini skid here. Tough schedule post-Christmas. 
you know, three you know three games in six days um, prior to prior to the Adelaide win. You know, went on a little three game losing skid, responded with a win against Adelaide. They're responding certainly here and making a statement to the UC Capitals. A win today to keep in touch with the two Melbourne sides in the top two, but they've also got Townsville and Perth who are hot on their tail. The Lynx especially outside the four at the moment look like a team that certainly could make the finals if things go their way. Yeah, they do. They're in good form at the moment. Melbourne down low to Pizzi. She converts. And the first field goal up to four. Halfway through this third quarter here at Red Energy Arena for your Thursday night hoops. Where on? You see Capitals in a, a little 1 2 2 zone here. Stays Bendigo ball. Poked out by Canberra. Ali Wilson on the baseline. 12 seconds to work with. Finds Maley off the inbound. Denied by the Capitals. You see them stay in the zone. They're zoning this base out of bounds play. Maley got him inside and couldn't find the finish. They did a good job not to foul her. Referees found a call. So a restart for the Spirit. Nine seconds to work with. 23 points the margin here. As they set proceedings, the referees today. Ali Wilson, leader in this ball game with 15 points, five boards, five assists, two steals as well. Lazy outing for her so far. Complete package mm. in the stats column. So here we go. Shot clock corrected to eight. Into Maley. As Melbourne defending her pizzy switching. Long range two. Drains it. Tough shot. Annalie Maley. My goodness. Up to 14 and 10 now. Melbourne directing traffic. Is Kalia. Hunger's there to her left, crossing, drives on Wilson. Straight down the keyway. Sharika Leah with the bucket. Gutsy took on Ali Wilson, stepped up on her, using her length, trying to create pressure. As we see that lady, same again, point of the rim, couldn't get it finished. Meg McKay right on the rim. That's what got him there in the first half. Melbourne, Swain on the wing, Maley comes across, foul call. Second personal on Maley. Shizzy draws it, stays Canberra ball. Both teams with some substitutions. Maley and Wilson check out. Here comes McLean and Alicia Froling. Adelie Maley fresh off that WNBL team of the week as well. 21 points, 13 and a half rebounds over the course of the round. Here's Burrell. As we're on defending her. Off the dribble. McKay, great defense. Bendigo with the ball. Great pressure defense. Bendigo spirit in the lanes. Hand pressure. Shake the ball loose. Chance to extend the lead. Wilson. Again, we see some zone from the UC Capitals, it looked like. McLean hard of the rack, missing. Burrell will turn and go. On the fast break, has Froling and Werong ahead. Munger. Moves it back by Abby Solway with her first minutes of the evening. Driving hard to the rack, doesn't get the call. So McLean now for Bendigo. Wilson hesitates, creates space for McKay who misses. Now Munger, they'll slow it up the Capitals. Three minutes out from the final break here. Hizzy. Puts up the triple, won't fall. You see Capitals can't find the bottom of the net with the three-point shot today. They're one of 11. Down low, Megan McKay working hard on Pizzi. So her first points in the second half, McKay, she's up to 16. Burrell. Pizzi's there with the screen, as is Munger. Wereham stays with it. Free ball goes up. Little left. And McKay pulls it down. Wilson. Hand off to Cassidy McLean. 
Whips it out, Wehrung for three, drains it. Oh, she shot the three ball well today, Abby Wehrung. That takes her tally to five of seven from the three point line. Super shooting for her. And shot it well all season from long range. 41% clip on the year. 94% from the free throw line, if you don't mind. Munger, contest is good from Bendigo. 28 point ball game. McLean. Wehrung, hand off to Froling. Trying to create some penetration in the spirit. Now they get it down low. McKay whips it out. Wehrung will settle for the two. Not that time. Job Burrell, runner off the three point line. She's got the hot hand from out there. Make it take something different. Kalia draws the foul for the Capitals. And Sophia Lacandro checks in as well for her first minutes of the evening. McKay to take a break. Bendigo Spirit feeling they've got this one in the bag. Massive lead, 28 points up. Just a couple of minutes to go in this third quarter. When you play the 14 minutes this evening, Megan McKay, for a player who's had so much influence on it. Yeah, she, she gave him this margin in that first half. There wasn't an answer from the UC Capitals for her work on the point of the rim. True from the free throw line. Wilson with the rock. McLean hands it back to her point guard. Froling. More zone defense from the UC Capitals here. A little 1 2 2. Inside the keyway, draws the foul. So the third for Pissy, who's managed those two personals for the last 15 minutes of her game time. Yeah, clearly a foul. Brings her hands in. Clocked Alicia Fro Froling on the nose. Thankfully, it didn't look like a hard hit. She won't be sporting stitches like her twin sister who was sporting a headband and six stitches at an injury she received a few games ago. Froling, good on the first. Missing on the second. Chance to bring her tally to double figures. Lacandro just fumbled the rebound. Rebounding contest has hurt the UC Capitals today. Burrell gets around one, flips it up. Wild shot, nearly fell for the Capitals. One of the foul call. McLean will clean it up for Bendigo. Wilson moves it forward, Lacandro. Froling with the screen, probing inside as McLean. And stepped out of bounds. Capitals basketball. Indigo lead this quarter by 10 points. Kalia handoff to Burrell. 12 points in the ball game for Ray Burrell. Closing in on her season average of 14. Pizzi likes her chances against Lecandro. Backed her down, but the youngster held her feet. Pizzi launches her third three attempt for the game. She can't buy the bottom, bottom of the net with those. Wilson. On the fast break, nicely timed dime and Froling with the bucket. It's party time for the Bendigo Spirit. Crowd love it when they're out on the break. Just seven fast break points today for the Bendigo Spirit. Seven as well for the UC Capitals. Call here from the ref, just 14 seconds shot clock. Will just remain on to finish the third quarter. McLean clearly not quite in position there. Good call by the referees. Put Chanel, Chloe, Tuliak. Development play for the UC Capitals. Seen quite a few minutes this evening with the decimation of their roster through injury. Plays for the Canberra Nationals in the NBL 1. And that her first points of her WNBL career as well, Carrie. So congratulations to Chloe Tuliak. Two of two from the free throw line. Wilson into the corner. Good contest. Froling one last opportunity. Runs out of time. So the Spirit 71 lead the UC Capitals 44 after three quarters of action. Bendigo extend the lead with a 26 to 15 third quarter. Carry Graf. Yeah, look, that was a, you know, they, they just looked at 
authorities and everything they did, they just executed exceptionally well. They went to what was working. Abby Weirung stepped up for him big in that quarter with the three-point shots. They get it. Got out on the break quite a few times to really lift that momentum and put it in a situation where the floodgates are open. They feel like that they've got this locked, this locked up now. They can rotate their bench, play their youngsters. Look, the UC Capitals didn't quit. I thought they, their intensity stayed pretty good offensively. Defensively, they junked it up with quite a few zone looks, some 2 3, some 1 2 2. But this Bendigo Spirit team were, you know, they've been fired up all day to make a statement about that upset loss 10 days ago in Canberra. Young team, of course, are the UC Capitals under man, as we've spoke of. I mean, today, Jade Melbourne, the listed captain on the team, shared it well. It's obviously a very young stage of her career in the WNBL. So plenty to look for there. The backcourt we know is a, a, a you know a star of the future between Melbourne and Swain. Yeah, absolutely. Look, Jade Melbourne, you know she was right down to the, right down in the mix with the, the World Cup in September. She was the last player cut. Um, as we see the stats here, three quarter time. Wow, look at that that rebounding contest. 41-22 speaks to lack of size and and also Bendigo. I'd say look one of the better rebounding teams in the league. They've got athletes that go every time. The shooting clip there, lowly 8% for the UC Capitals. Can't buy one from the three-point land um, and points in the paint. You know, we talked about that first half. Megan McKay set it up for him on the point of the ring. And then you've got players that can put the ball on the floor and finish. Maley finds junk points inside the key. Uh, Ali Wilson gets there. And, you know, Ali Wilson, I mean, what a line she has. Great stat line. She's all over the floor. And you say, oh, it's a lazy day out for Ali Wilson. But, you know, this Bendigo Spirit team without one of their stars and a superstar, Kelsey Griffin, they're in fine form tonight. Moving the ball nicely, 19 assists as a team as well. Unsurprisingly led by Kelly Wilson, who has eight dimes. So Natalie Maley, yet another double-double this season, 14 and 11. Averages a double-double. Fifth in league scoring, second in league rebounding. The reigning MVP. So 10 minutes of action remaining here. Her dad Paul had a long career in the NBL. Famous basketball family, Munger will inbound to start things off. All the caps, Burrell straight away, drives at the rack and draws a foul. So Burrell to the line. Froling was there, just the one personal so far for her. Amused with the decision. Referee, referee's deemed that she moved her hands in out of the cylinder. She didn't feel she did. Nonetheless, Ray Burrell, UC Capitals import, out of the University of Tennessee, had a rookie season, most of it injured with the LA Sparks in the WNBA. Making on the first. In second one, just rattles out. Froling's there. Wilson. Melbourne defending Maley. Froling at the elbow. Switching into the corner, Kelly Wilson. Yet to score from the field. Again, we see the zone defense. Again, we see the zone defense from the UC Capitals trying to pack up the key. Annalee Maley, my goodness. She just finds a way to score. You know, just gets up over the top of Jade Melbourne there. Wasn't poor defense, just great offensive play. Swain short on the three. And a foul call on Swain as she infringes Lacandro. for the UC Capitals here. Maybe coach Kristenville wants to keep working. We see Maley there. You know, pushes back. Jay Melbourne keeps her body in front, but Natalie Maley just up and over. Uses her size and her length. Shoots that mid-range jumper. It's a tough play. It's classy. 30 and 12. Last time these two teams met. And 16 and 11 so far this evening. So a foul called on Chloe Tuliak. Alicia Froling. Experienced WNBL player. Something cuts herself to the point of the rim. Has Tuliak on her back. Referee deemed that Tuliak was getting underneath her, using her leg, hip in her butt. Wilson. Baseline inbound. Maley. 12 seconds for Bendigo. Melbourne and Wilson. Into the corner. Lacandro. Five seconds. Travel call. To Lacandro on a couple of those plays, she get a travel call there. She had a foot out of bounds on the last skip catch from veteran point guard and star Kelly Wilson. Maley reaching for the steal, couldn't quite. 
Melbourne, no look time. Into the corner, drains it for Tuliak. That first field goal in the WNBL, not bad one, a three-pointer. Got to feel good. 25 points the margin. Bendigo. Now Lecandro on the perimeter. Wilson. Had a great game so far. Kelly Wilson moves it quickly. Two seconds. Mailey crashing the glass. And another possession for the Spirit. Bendigo Spirit still finding a way in and amongst that zone to get the ball in deep to their, their posts. As we see here, Jade Melbourne kick it out. Tuliak open for the three in the corner. Thank you very much. My first bucket. Field goal in the WNBL, she says. Pretty no-look dime as well from Melbourne to find her. Wilson has Mailey rolling to the hoop. Froling, another travel that goes against Bendigo. A little show and go there by Alicia Froling. Maybe the referees deem that she dragged the back foot. She's asking the question. We're on. Up on defense on Melbourne. Munger. Kalia hands it back to Melbourne. She'll drive on Wilson. Trying to find Burrell. No, it's out to Munger for three. Hallelujah, says Munger. The Capitals' third three-point shot made for the game. That takes him to three of 15. Back to back as well from three. Maybe they can turn the tables, get hot from the three-point line. Get that lowly percentage up. Kristen Veal will certainly be hoping. Natalie Maley now will head to the charity stripe. Two of three from this spot this evening. Makes on the first. 76% career three throw shooter. Melbourne looking to push the pace. And they look to win this last quarter, the Capitals. Here's Kalia. Currently they lead the period, early days here. Tuliak down low, Burrell battling with Wilson, makes it. Burrell up to 15 now. Straight away to Froling. And draws the foul call. Goes against Tuliak. And Froling, who's three of six today from the stripe, will shoot two. Yeah, clearly a tactic of the Benigo spirit today is can they get the ball inside deep? Can they get it to Froling? Can they get it to Mackay? They've done a super job of following that, that game plan, and it's been what's put them in front. 44 points in the paint in the game for the spirit. And Froling goes two at two. Who also sits third in blocks per game with... 1.1 in the Signet WNBL. Here's Munger. Burrell and Maley on the wing. Tuliak in the key way. Nice finish. Up to seven in the quarter. She's starting to feel comfortable out there, Tuliak. Seven points in 13 minutes for Chloe Tuliak. Wilson assessing. Now Ali Wilson in the corner. Drains another for the Spirit. Takes it to a lazy 18 for the game. And some evening. Five dimes, five boards as well. Kalia, well defended from Kelly Wilson. Picked off by Werung. Two capitals ahead of her. Rolling in the vicinity. Puts the step down and can't finish. Melbourne, baseball pass ahead to Burrell. What a find. Easy bucket for Ray Burrell. And assist number five in the game for Jade Melbourne. We're on. Again, the 2 3 zone from the UC Capitals using this to try and slow down the Bendigo spirit. Again, she'll fire for three. Abby Werung, a rare miss. The challenge is can you find a body to block out? They didn't that time. Extra possession, Bendigo. Wilson from the wing. Just a little left. And Melbourne will slow it up for the visitors. 
Sessing picks up her dribble. Weron's there. Tried to find Tuliak. Last touch rolling. The Capitals execute here. Their base out of bounds play. 13 seconds on the shot clock. See if they can get this margin under 20. Make it a bit more respectable. Leading the quarter 13 to 9 on the UC Caps. You see Coach Kennedy, Kerry Amer. Check out a couple of his key players in Kelly Wilson and Alicia Froling. You might ask them to ice up, not risk injury. Munga, fine space from the top, a little strong. But the rebound, though, couldn't be handled by Werung and Maley. You know, and here's one of the things that players like Annalie and Maley do, you know, that with her persistence, her team's up 23, five minutes to go. Clearly, they've, they've won this one. She runs that ball down like it's a one-point ball game in a final series, you know, and that's what sets her apart. That's what's got a play like her to the level that she's got because she plays every single play, regardless of clock and score, regardless of opponent. She just plays in an intensity that's a whole other level. Impressive. She's only got one gear. Natalie Maley, full throttle. And here's Cassidy McLean. And Wilson, step back three on Pizzi as an air ball. Melbourne's there. Puts it behind her back, driving on Werung. Another no-look wow. time. Pizzi finishes it. Jade Melbourne with the highlight reel. Pretty play. Back to 21 points the margin. It's a timeout on the floor. We'll get another look at it here. Some highlight from Jade Melbourne. Six times in the ball game. Timeout on the floor brought to you by Aussie Hoops. And the Aussie Hoops program had its biggest year to date with over 42,000 participants registering to a local Aussie Hoops centre nearby. It's the perfect introduction to the world of basketball for kids aged 5 to 10 years. Whether your little one is a seasoned basketball fan or simply looking to get out there and give it a go, we've no doubt they'll have an absolute ball of a time. Register now at aussiehoops.basketball to kickstart your basketball journey. They've got 21 dimes as a team, the Bendigo Spirit. Meanwhile, the Capitals with 13, six of which are Jade Melbourne's. And they've been pretty good in this fourth quarter. They have. You know, they're, they're leading this quarter 13 to 9. Um, you know, clearly it's still a big margin. They're down 21. But for them, you know, can they play out this last five minutes? Can they reduce this margin, get it under 20? Could they get it under 15? I'm sure Coach Kennedy, Curry Amor will be resting some of his key players. We know their star player, Kelsey Griffin's out with a hamstring injury. He won't want any other athletes injured. But having said that, he also they also want to play and get ready for the next games and play Bendigo's spirit style of basketball. Um, for the UC Caps, you know, they're down to eight players. Two of those are development players that have seen court time tonight. They've, we've seen a lot of zone from them in this quarter, and I'm sure we'll see them play out with that zone. That's held the Bendigo spirit a little bit in this quarter, slowed them up a little bit, forced them to take some different looks. So it'll be interesting to see how this last five minute plays out. Can the Capitals claw back this? 21-point deficit, get it to a more respectable margin. Wilson. Three of their starters remain out there for the Spirit. And Megan McKay as well, reinserted into the fray. A clean off the dribble, floater, that's clean. Tough little lefty floater with the show-and-go move. Got Jade Melbourne in the air, got fire on the dribble, floated it in with the left hand. Melbourne. McLean right there. Here's he's hovering for the pick. Again, that whipping pass for the Solway three. Another development player in for the UC Caps. Lights it up from the three-point line. Something that hasn't dropped for the Capitals this game. It just takes them to four of 17. Hovering around that 20, low 20 percentage from the three-point line. Down low to McKay. She makes it. Another point in the paint for the Bendigo Spirit. And further to your previous point, Carrie, another development player for the Capitals with her first points of her signet WNBL career to Abby Solway. Melbourne step back triple, drains it. Melbourne feeling it. She's up to eight. Bendigo Spirit have done a good job on Jade Melbourne tonight. Other than on the break, they've you know, limited her a fair bit other than the opening couple of minutes of the game. Melbourne. Muscle, Maley, excuse me, muscling through in the key way. In to go with the extra possession. Wilson, extra pass. Maley, a little short on the three. Jade Melbourne. 
Another no look dime to Swain. Wilson right there in defence. Only with a steal. And the foul call goes against Wilson. Her third. So Bendigo next will face the Boomers at the Boom Box in Melbourne on Sunday afternoon. So a massive contest there, Carrie. Huge, huge. I mean, those games are, you know, they set up positions for the top four. Look, there's no doubt in my mind, Bendigo Spirit, I think, will be a top four team. Yeah, barring further injury or how long is Kelsey Griffin out. But, you know, they're, they're right thereabouts. Those games amongst the top four are critical. You know, the, the splits, how many times you've played that opponent, who's got the split. Of the three games, you need the best of three, so big one for the Bendigo Spirit. A win here would bring their tally to 10 and 4 as Jade Melbourne will head to the three throw line. 10 and 4 will see them even with the Southside Flyers, who do have the tiebreaker at the moment over the Spirit. As Melbourne makes on the first. Another one of those young guards in this Capitals team who really one of the future players of the Opals program. Yeah, you know? absolutely. You know, it, in the extended Opal squad that was announced recently, made it right down to the, the last cut for the, the World Cup. She's certainly a player, a player of the now and a player of the future. She's got a, a professional career ahead of her without doubt. And a much loved player as well who was a part of the squad as well prior to the World Cup. We saw her on court with the team after that win against Mali. Yeah, and she's, she spoke about it. She felt a part of the group. She, you know, she, she felt engaged in it and felt a part of it and aspires to be an Opal of the future. You know, she's a, she's a young athlete that works on a game. She's a student of the game. She spends hours watching NBA and, and WNBA games. Um, you know, look, she's, she's going to have a long professional career and be one of our, our future stars, without a doubt. Very exciting stuff for the Capitals and for Aussie Hoops fans. Two and a half remaining. Swain. Pulls up, long range two, little strong. Wilson with the board. Closing in on a double-double without points, Kelly Wilson. And boards to go along with the nine dimes. Cross court picked off by Melbourne. Third steal of the game for her. Sitting in the back of that zone, the zone's been helpful for him in this fourth quarter. Has the Capitals winning this fourth quarter, 22-13 enough to get close to this Bendigo Spirit team who really stamped their authority on the game in that first half. Positive for Christian Veal's team with Bendigo clearly going to their bench but still you know with lineups that have two or three starters at all time. Maley's remained out there, Werung, Wilson have remained out there. Yeah absolutely you know we've talked about the Capitals are playing with two development players and then players that plan to be development players but got elevated to the 10 early in the year due to, you know, departures of athletes. So, you know, they're battling hard for an absolutely depleted roster. Down low, McKay got the mismatch. Wow, and Bendigo have just been superb in executing, you know, knowing what, knowing, knowing what's working, going back to the well. You know, McKay, exceptional use of her bodies we talked about out of half time. Maximises her her skill set. 20 points, eight rebounds this evening. For Megan McKay. That may be close to a career high, I would suggest. Certainly up there. Can she squeeze, squeeze out a double-double here? Get a couple more boards. Suliak on a triple drops. Likes that corner three. Nail that, mark that spot. So into double figures with 10. And two of two from three, as you mentioned, Carrie. Back to 17 points. Encouraging closing to this game for Canberra. McLean moves it onwards. Lacandro. Three ball went up from Porter, not that time. Both coaches letting their benches now play out this last minute 20. Tuliak finds Swain, cutting and finishing. You know, we talk about players of the future. Shanice Swain found a way into the, deservedly so, into the extended o Opal squad recently off the back of this season. Been impressive. I mean, coming to the starting lineup. Water with the turnover. Solway for the Capitals. Swain probing. Draws the foul. 
on Diani Ananiv. She does that exceptionally well. She's got great speed, good length, uses hesitations well, isn't scared to get her feet in the lane, go downhill, make something happen. I think for her it's about belief too. You know, prior to sees this, she played mostly injured. She didn't get to play a lot. Had lower limb injuries. But she's you know, been in great shape this year. Seen a lot of minutes. Had some opportunity. She certainly made the most of it. So Capitals today, 11 of 18 from the three throw line. And the crowd getting involved here. Swain goes again, follows her own miss. Battling hard for the Capitals. Munger for three. There's some reward for effort for Shanice Swain. So now just 12 points, the margin carry. Much more respectable. It's bench v bench at the moment. 30 to 15 in this final quarter in favour of the UC Capitals. Turnover against the Spirit. Kalia moving it onwards. Munger. Now Swain for three. And Lecandro can clean it up. So shot clock off to end this one. Mendigo Spirit with a dominant first half. Dominating inside the keyway. Megan McKay especially was terrific. He out-rebounded the UC Capitals 49-29. to And the Spirit in the end prevailed by 12 points here at Red Energy Arena to improve to 10 in four on the season. And their win streak now improves to two, Cary Graff. Yeah, look, they were impressive tonight. They stuck to their game plan. You know, they, they broke the game open early with their interior presence. Megan Mackay set the way. And then you talk about, I mean, complimentary pieces, you know, excuse me, complimentary Annalie mainly with a lazy 18 and 12. You know, Ali Wilson, she was impressive early. And then you go, wow, she ended up with 18. Five boards, five assists, two steals. You know, they've, they've got depth, this team. Even with their, you know, superstar Kelsey Griffin out injured with the hamstring. I thought they played the complete game today. They played, they went to what worked for them. They dominated the boards. We see there the stats, 50 to 31, the rebound count. Points in the paint, 50 to 34. And look, they just shot the ball better. You see Capitals didn't have a good night out shooting. It, you know, that was exaggerated in the last quarter. They did start to hit their shots, but first half that killed them. They couldn't buy the bottom of the net from the three-point line. They were one of 11 at one stage, I believe, from beyond the arc before the fourth quarter got underway. They had five players in double figures, the Bendigo Spirit, led by McKay with 20. Wilson and Maley had 18 apiece as Kelsey Griffin addresses her side. They're without her, obviously, Tessa Levy and Piper Don Dunlop out as well. From the Capitals' perspective, we know they're missing some players. Bunton not in. Alison Swagmire, Belger out. Brit Smart as well. Day-to-day, -day, we might see her soon as well, Carrie. And M. Whittle Harmon, she would have been handy today. Yeah, look, and she's, you know, she's pretty much done, I think, for, for the rest of the season, potentially with that knee. Button they need back soon. You know, it, it's it's gonna be tough for the UC Capitals, but they're folks that we can they win another. We see Bendigo Spirit thanking their thanking their crowd there who certainly helped them tonight. And uh, the, I'm sure they'll be looking forward to seeing Kelsey Griffin back in a uniform soon off, off the back of that hamstring injury. Well, they'll play Melbourne at the Boom Box, as we mentioned on Sunday afternoon. That is going to be a huge outing. Capitals, they were valiant, especially in the last quarter. They were led by Ray Burrell with 17 points. Nicole Munger as well, a nice closing to the game. 15 points, four steals for her. And Jade Melbourne had seven dimes, including some very pretty no-look opportunities, which I'm sure will feature in the weekly highlights. It's been a pleasure to bring this one to you. Liam Ellison and Carrie Graff looking forward to the rest of round 11 as well. The Capitals, they're not done. They are going to stay in Victoria as they face the Southside Flyers on Saturday night. That's going to be a test, Carrie. Yeah, that will. I mean, Lauren Jackson was in fine form against Sydney last night in Sydney. She, you know, she's going to be a tough one for them. Sydney v Perth, that's going to be a tough one. We don't know whether Coach Shane Hill will be head coach coaching that or Shelley Gorman will be for them at home again against Perth anything could happen there Melbourne Bendigo that one is going to be an absolute ripper on Sunday you know a top of the table type clash a, a pre-look at the finals um, some big games coming up Townsville Adelaide as well promises to be a ripper up in far north Queensland Friday night hoops make sure you do not miss that one Adelaide have Fallen out of the top four a little bit but we know that they can seriously go on their night that's going to be a great game of hoops too Plenty to look forward to here in the remainder of round 11 for the Signet WNBL. Thank you very much for joining us this evening. It's the